Pop yeah. tried to play hero. He forgot he was in his 60s with a bum ticker. Yeah, well, it's your fault to begin with. <laughs> me? Yeah. Stick me in that fire trap. Pop, stop talking. You said you liked the place. Uh, you close on the EKG? Just about. What's the point of this? Easy. Paramedics said you were complaining of chest pain. Did you forget you had a quadruple bypass a few weeks ago? Come on, stay still. Hey, if it isn't my favorite patient, how you doing, Mr. Halstead? Fine. So you felt some tightness in your chest, huh? It's nothing. Well, you might be right. I don't see any ST elevation or depression, no left access deviation. Looks like a strong and healthy heart to me. Yeah, good. We done? Nope, not yet. You still have a pretty nasty inhalation injury. You get a CBC, CMP, and a carboxyhemoglobin. And add a full cardiac workout. Dr. Rhodes, Dr. Choyden's the consult. Yeah. Mr. Hall said a pleasure as always. Yeah. Thank you, Connor. Yeah. Uh, I don't need all of this. Calm down. You're getting yourself worked up. What do you know? You know, doctor. Pop, forget it. He had no right to sell my house. You want to talk about this again? It was a wreck. You couldn't take care of the place. He just wanted my money. Hey, you don't have any money, you thankless old prick. Whatever. Jay? Dr. Hall said you got that? Dad? He was talking just a minute ago. No pulse. Bag him. Wait, wait. He's your dad. Should another doctor run the code? You got one handy? What's going on? He's in VFIP. Charge you 200 and give you the pedals. Clear. Still no pulse? Push him to like Ram Got it. Well? Charge you 200. Yeah. Charging. Clear. Another milligram of epi. Yep. How long before you restored science rhythm? He was down around five minutes. Well, that's consistent with what I'm seeing. Almost no EEG waveforms. What does that mean? You want to tell him? I'm not seeing some brain activity. Artifacts. Distortion, interference, dust on the window. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not following. Your father's brain dead. So he's just not coming back? Like, you, you're saying that there's, there's no chance? If I had to calculate the odds, I'd say 1,001 against. This vent could be put to better use. What? Are you serious? Hey. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Are you kidding me? We'll talk about it. Thanks, Sam. I don't like that guy, man. I want a second opinion. He's our top neurosurgeon. So all your degrees, all that money, all those years in school, this is the best you can do? Jay, Dad almost died two years ago. He's been living on borrowed time. Abrams didn't say Dad had no chance. A thousand to one is no chance. You just want to give up? I'm trying to be realistic. I've seen a lot of patients in these conditions. There goes that doctor voice. I'm sorry, but I am a doctor. Yeah, don't worry, we got that message. Your dad knew you thought you were better than us. We always came in second. You weren't there, and now you want to decide what happens? That is not true, Jay. There you are. Miss Garrett, my brother Jay. Yes. I'm the hospital COO. I heard about your father. I'm very sorry. Thank you. I want you both to know that there's uh, no hurry in making any decisions about Mr. Halstead. You have the full support of this hospital. And we'll provide your father with any and all resources. I appreciate that. We take care of our own. This is my cell phone. You call me if you need anything.
it's decided we're not giving up. Man. Ms. Goodwin? Oh, Dr. Halstead, I'm very sorry about your father. Did you know? Did I know what? Gwen Garrett made a special point of telling me and Jay that there was no hurry in taking my dad off the vent. Okay. My dad's chart, his bypass surgery, was 29 days ago. 29 days ago. I see. I can't believe the hospital would do this. Not to me. Not to my family. his eyes and I grabbed his hand and he squeezed my hand. He squeezed my hand? Those are just reflexes. They, they don't mean anything. I'm telling you, man, he knows that I'm here. He doesn't. He can't. We can't. He's... He's got to come back, man, because... That can't be the last conversation I ever have with him. Look, whatever regrets you have, you're not gonna resolve them here. You just gotta accept that. Don't tell me what I gotta accept. Jay, the reason Gwen encouraged us to take our time with Dad, his bypass was 29 days ago. If he dies before 30 days or up, regardless of why, it's a fatality for the hospital. So what? So Gwen's just trying to keep Dad alive for one more day so the hospital doesn't take the hit. I get it, you feel betrayed? I don't care. I care about Dad. And you think he'd want to be kept alive to buff some numbers? You can just get out. You gotta get out, man. They're using him. That's your problem. Jay, he's gone. Doc, uh, you okay? Sorry, Jay. For everything. For not being there for you and Dad. For not giving you space to grieve. We'll keep him on the vent as long as you want. Who am I kidding, man? I know he's not coming back. Let him go. Just let him go. 